Hi folks, welcome to the Man Cave. I do hope everybody is keeping well. So what are we talking about today? Well, we're talking about how to keep cool in those hot, hot summer months when your normal riding jacket is just too hot to wear. So you might want to consider getting one of those summer mesh jackets, which are generally a lot lighter than your normal jacket. They let a lot more air through the jacket and they just make things a little bit more comfortable in those hot, hot temperatures of the summer. So today we are going to be looking at the Revit Eclipse 2 jacket, which I've recently purchased. So if that's something you're interested in, my first impressions of this jacket, stick around and I'll let you know what I think about it. So where did I purchase my jacket from? Well, I basically jumped onto the internet and went to Sports Bike Shop. I'll put a link in the description down below. I bought loads of stuff from there previously. Really good online retailer. Uh, very good service. So yeah, I went to them and I ordered the jacket and retail price for the jacket is £129.99. But it doesn't come with a back protector. So I put the back protector into the basket and that was £44.99, giving me a grand total for the jacket and the back protector of £174.99 and 98 pence. If you don't know too much about Revit, they're a premium brand company. It's a Dutch company, been around since 1995, and they are well into the motorcycle clothing uh, manufacturing business. So yeah, a really good company with a very good brand name as well, and lots of good reviews on the Eclipse to jacket. So let's talk about sizing wise and that's the all important thing. I'm five foot nine and I'm 40 inches across the chest. <laughs> Hello, mate. That's one of my cats. I'm 40 inches across the chest, which is 101 centimeters. Waist wise on a good day, 34 inches or 86 centimeters. If I stand up, relax and let the tummy fall out, that will just expand across the belly button to 37 inches. So that's uh, my measurements. So I went onto the sports bike shop website and if I looked at their measurements, it sort of dropped me into the uh, size small category, but I have actually gone from medium. Then when I took those measurements and that is my cat, shut up. When I took those measurements and then went onto the Revit website, then that actually with those measurements that dropped me into the next size up, which is a medium. And I've already tried this jacket on and it's a nice snug fit with no restrictions in the arms and that kind of thing. So I would say go to the Revit website and put your measurements in there and just see which jacket you fall into. So the 40 inch uh, measurements for me, that gives me a medium jacket and I'm more than happy with that. So for the men in relation to sizes, they do eight sizes ranging from extra small right up to 4XL and you can get this jacket in five flavors of color. If you're a lady, then you have a choice of three flavors of color and in relation to the sizes, you've got seven choices of sizes ranging from 34 to 46. The back protector, the back protectors do come in a variety of sizes. So you need to go onto the Revit website, have a look at what kind of jacket you've got and then what size of jacket you've got. And then that will tell you what size back protector you need. And in my case, I needed a size four. Clearly in the summer months when the temperatures are 30 degrees and above, you want to actually be comfortable on your motorbike and that's for yourself and your pillion passenger as well. So this is where these summer lightweight mesh jackets come into their own and they still are allowing you a degree of protection as well. So in relation to the protection in the Eclipse 2 jacket, so Revit have got their own in-house armor and they call this C-Smart and this is actually certified to level one and this is the shoulder pad and as you can see it gives you quite a lot of protection on the shoulder. Then if we have a look at the elbow pad then again it does give you quite a lot of protection. As we said earlier on in the video the jacket itself hasn't got a back protector as standard but there is a pocket in the back to insert a back protector and then I've ordered the Revit Seasoft back protector and that is actually certified to level two and there's lots of holes in here to allow the air to escape out of the back of the jacket. So that's the protection in the jacket. 
So the jacket itself is constructed from a polyester 600D material. That's the main parts of the jacket and that will allow for a certain bit of resistance and abrasion protection. And that's the kind of material you get in rucksacks and sports bags, that kind of stuff. And then we've got the polyester mesh panels at the front, at the back and on the arms. And I think I'll put the jacket on and show you all the features of the jacket. Okay, folks, I have donned the jacket. I think it looks really quite splendid, actually. So as I said earlier on, I'm a 40 inch chest and I went for the medium sized jacket and I think it fits actually pretty well actually nice and snug so it's not going to be flapping around i went for the gray color and i think it blends in really well with my bmw r 1250 gs triple black and i think the jacket is actually quite a smart jacket and it would look good off the bike as well so yeah all in all it's a thumbs up for me in relation to the jacket so the jacket itself is constructed from a 600d polyester material so that is abrasion resistant and then we've got some polyester mesh panels and they're the things that do the work letting the air, air flow through the jacket so we've got panels down the forearms here the front sections and if i spin around pretty much basically all across the back so you're going to get a lot of air flow through it i've actually put the back protector in and obviously that's got lots of holes through it so that also is going to let the air through it as well and that takes only a a couple of minutes to put that back protector into the pocket in the back of the jacket. So starting from the top of the jacket and then working our way down, we've got a nice neoprene uh, lined collar. So that should be nice and comfortable against the neck in those hot, sticky, summery riding conditions. And then we've got a single snap popper on the top here. And the only thing is there's nothing here on the uh, left hand side of the shoulder for you to snap that onto. So if you wanna undo that, undo the zip, then that may just flap around a little bit. So I guess that would be a little bit of a negative. So we've got the Revit name on here somewhere. And if I spin around, we've got the Revit logo on the back there. And that is actually a reflective kind of material. So working our way down then, the actual main zip, it's a nice quality zip, nice and chunky. So hopefully you shouldn't get any problems with that. And then we've got a couple of pockets on the outside here. Again, a nice chunky zips. And then at the top of the zip, when you do it fully up, there's a little, I think they call it a tunnel. So you can actually put the flappable part of the zip, tuck it in the tunnel and they don't flap around in the wind. So that's quite a nice feature. So the pockets are lined with the mesh kind of material. And I've got an iPhone 14 in the, tear I say, old man's case. Will it go into the pocket? Yep. So that goes into the pocket. Absolutely no problems at all. So yeah. If you're worried about whether you can get your phone in the, in the pockets, yes, you can. Going down the jacket then, they're just adjusted at the bottom on the sleeves with Velcro, very simple, very easy to use. And then you've got a V section at the bottom of the jacket. Bottom of the waist end, so it can be adjusted to suit your waistline. And you can, that's just done by Velcro. So really, really easy to adjust that. Spinning around and the tail just drops down slightly compared to the front. So I guess when you're sat on the bike, leaning forward, the jacket rides up, then it won't ride up against the trousers. And you, there's some loops on the inside of the jacket at the bottom. So you can loop those to the trousers so they stay together when you're in your riding position on your two wheels. If we have a look at the inside of the jacket, I'm just gonna undo the zip, excuse the noise. <clears throat> if we look at the inside of the jacket, again, it's just lined with that sort of black, dotted mesh material. And then you've got a single pocket on the right hand side here, which has got a Velcro part at the top. And can we get the iPhone 14 old man's case in there? And the answer is yes, we can. Do the jacket up again. Excuse the noise on the microphone. It might go a bit quiet now. Just pop the snapper up and do everything up. So yeah, I've got the iPhone 14 in there in its old man's case. Everything's done up now. And I forgot to mention, uh, for your biceps, triceps, you've got two poppers on here, so you can adjust those accordingly. So I'm just gonna do those up. And then basically, I think that's the jacket fully described to you. I can't say any more than that. Yeah, nice jacket, I really like it. I'm happy with it. If any of you own this jacket, folks, and that there's any negative parts to it, uh, please put any comments in the comment section down below. Clearly though, it might 
get a little bit cold on an early morning or a late evening if you're riding the jacket and the only thing I suggest there is get a little cheap golfing kind of jacket or wind cheater or something just to put in your rucksack or under the seat so you can whack that on and zip it up and then that will act as a windbreak because there's no waterproof protection in the jacket or anything like that it is purely a hot weather riding garment and then if you want to get anything else to afford a bit of warmth or rainproof protection then just go and get a little cheapy uh, jacket to keep in your rucksack or under the seat of your motorbike. I've waffled on enough let me do that and zip uh, down so you can hear me properly uh, again make any comments in the comment section down below I really like the jacket I'm just going to wait for the temperature to go above 20 degrees and then take it out for a bit of a blast and see how good the jacket is and I may do another review on that once I've had it for a little while in the meantime ride safe and we'll see you again soon in the next video cheerio for now right matey boy Milo <laughs> come here I'll put you to sleep again haven't I come on come on then let's go cheers folks <laughs>